Oh, this is... Okay. Alright, I should have... Maybe put the camera up a little bit higher. Walk all the way around and get... Oh, there's nothing like filming by yourself. Let's see how that is. Oh, that's much better. Hello, my friends, and welcome to another fun episode of Art with your host, Lydia Broderick. And um, I'm going to be experimenting today. So, welcome to my channel. I have to go all around this table again. <laughs> Okay, and we're back. So, a little explanation is in order for what I'm about to do. I have wanted to make a clock for quite some time now, and I've had this wooden circle hanging about my house for about a month, and wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it until I was watching some other YouTubers who do acrylic pouring and they use house paint and create these amazing cells. So um, I took it upon myself to try this technique and I do not currently have any Australian Floetrol which is what's used as the cell activator in a lot of these um, YouTubers like Erica Hughes Art, um, Waterfall Acrylics, and many others, Painted Dreamer, they all have Australian Floetrol, which I do not have at this point. So I was watching a video by Erica Hughes Art and she uses Elmer's Glue All as a cell activator in a couple of her videos. And I said, well, that's something that I can get my hands on right now. So I'm going to try that. So this is the dried outcome of my first experiment with the Elmer's Glue All and using house paint as my pillow and um, a variety of other colors. So today I'm going to be using some different colors. I'm still going to use the Elmer's Glue All as my cell activator until I can get some Australian Floetrol. And I will list all the colors that I use and the other products that I use in order to create this pour if it goes well. If it doesn't, then you just want to ignore this video entirely. That's my advice. Because we don't know yet. So, let's get started.
I think that went better than expected. Thank you. Well, I got some ideas. I already have them. They're all, the, the wheels are turning, people. The wheels are turning. And once again, I am out of my depth. Okay. Keep doing that. Like, I am clearly way taller than I think I am. Oh, that's a little better. <laughs> Thought I'd grown. I haven't. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the dried pour, and that will we'll see how this dries. It keeps changing a little bit. I keep seeing more cells popping up and everything. So I'm gonna check back tomorrow and see how this looks, and um, if I still see a like I I see a skull in this. Maybe that's just because I'm a tad macabre. I don't know. I think this will really lend itself to skull paintings. <laughs> and I love skulls. Skull dust. That's weird. Sorry. Said that. It's strange. Um, it's code. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Never mind. Okay, good. Very good. I'll be back when this. Okay, so it is actually the next day, um, the next night, because I just got out of work and came to check this out, and this is how it looks. I don't want to touch the middle because the middle isn't completely dry yet, but you see what I'm talking about with this abstract skull right here? Totally cool. I couldn't have planned that. It's awesome. So, glue all does work as a cell activator. Um, I do want to try the Australian Floetrol, but this is how this came out, and I love like where the orange pokes through in certain spots. I think that looks totally cool. So that concludes this video for now. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed to my little channel. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of your wonderful feedback. And I will be putting a link in the description to Erica Hughes' art, um, her recipe for the glue all cell activator, as well as a link to waterfall acrylics um, because she does a pour on a clock and totally cool. You gotta see that. So, until next time when I'm ready to embellish this guy, I love you guys and I will see you later. Bye!